Hello, my name is Al Parks, and today I'm going to be talking to you about cholesterol, friend or foe. I want to give you some a brief, brief information about myself, who I am. I am certified as a lifestyle educator through the Uchi Pines Institute. At the Uchi Pines Institute, which is a very beautiful place, they teach us and they also teach the patients how they can heal themselves naturally through the means that God has provided for us. Secondly, I'm also certified as a personal fitness chef. My goal as a personal fitness chef and lifestyle educator is to show you how you can better take care of yourself and be less dependent upon the systems that are out there. After all, God does want us to take better care of the bodies that he has given us. So back to our topic. Cholesterol, friend or foe? Let's look at cholesterol. What is cholesterol? Cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance that travels throughout the body into the blood. It's a natural substance also found in foods. In addition to that, It's a substance produced by the liver. So cholesterol, our body produces all the cholesterol that we need. So let's continue. Types of cholesterol. There are two types of cholesterol, and you probably heard about this. One, you have HDL, which is called the good cholesterol, cholesterol or high-density lipoprotein. Those are big words, but the main thing that I want you to keep and remember out of this is that it is the healthy cholesterol. It is considered healthy because in your blood, the healthy cholesterol, or HDL, attaches to cholesterol to help the body eliminate it. Now, the second type is, well, this is some more information on HDL. And as I mentioned to you, it helps the body eliminate cholesterol or the bad that's in your body. Secondly, here are some stats. Women with HDL levels above 50, this is optimal because there's an established limit for women and there's a an established limit for men as well. I'm not quite sure why there is a difference for the two, but there is a difference. And it also, to let you know that men with an HDL level of greater than 75, they're protected from myocardial infarction, which is merely a heart attack. So that's something to keep in mind. When you go to your doctor and he shares your cholesterol level with you, sometimes they give you a stat and say, well, just kind of keep it between, say, 50 and 60 or 50 and 65. But you got to remember, if you want to be protected from a heart attack, keep your cholesterol level as men above 75 and women keep yours above 50. As we mentioned, levels less than 40 milligrams a deciliter, you are, are at greater risk for a heart attack. So keep that in mind. Let's move forward. Once again, types of cholesterol. Now let's look at what's called a bad cholesterol or HDL. I'm sorry, LDL, which is considered the bad cholesterol. That's the one you want to pay close attention to. It is also called lethal cholesterol. Two ways to remember HDL good or just say happy cholesterol. LDL, just say lethal cholesterol. It gives up cholesterol easily means it does not bind to cholesterol in the body, but it gives it up. Thus, the cholesterol stays in the bloodstream. And the, high, the more cholesterol in the bloodstream, when they take your cholesterol, your cholesterol level is going to be elevated. And thus, once it's elevated, the cholesterol will start sticking to the artery walls. So the lower the number for the LDL cholesterol, the better. Optimal number for LDL is less than 90. Now, once again, when you go to your doctor, you'll see numbers ranging somewhere between that 90 and 130. You don't want to be anywhere close to that number in terms of your cholesterol level 
or the L LDL cholesterol level. The higher that number is, the greater your chances are of placking of the arteries, thus potentially heart attack. Types of cholesterol, again. There's one last one that we want to share with you, and that's called VLDL, which is very low density lipoprotein. Bad, but not as bad as LDL cholesterol, but they're similar in that they do not bind well to cholesterol in the blood. That's what it does. It gives up cholesterol much easily. Cholesterol numbers according to the FDA. Now these numbers that I'm going to give you are basically the total blood cholesterol numbers. Now what the FDA has told us is that a desirable blood cholesterol number or total cholesterol number is a number of 200 milligrams a deciliter with the LDL being lower than 130. Remember I mentioned to you earlier about the LDL. See this is the number that they're giving you but we want the number to be anywhere less than 90. But once again the numbers from the Food and Drug Administration, that's what FDA stands for, they're giving us a number here of 200, that's the total cholesterol number, which will include your HDL, your LDL, and also the triglyceride numbers. Borderline high cholesterol, the total level is between 200 and 239 milligrams a deciliter, whereas now, notice the LDL number is creeping up. The LDL between 130 and 150 milligrams a deciliter. As this number has started to elevate, your chances of chronic illnesses associated with the heart and arteries are also creeping up or they are increasing as well. Now, high blood cholesterol. Total level is greater than 240 or 240 milligrams a deciliter or LDL is 160 milligrams a deciliter or higher. You're in a danger zone at this point. And that I want to emphasize to you. You are in a danger zone at this point. You do not want your levels to be at this point. Sometimes, once again, when you go in and talk to your doctor, they give you the total number. And I've heard, had some people tell me, well, my doctor told me that my number was fluctuating right at around 200, 210, and they think that they're doing okay. They're not being misled so much by their doctor as they're being put at ease, and this is a serious problem. So what we want to do as we continue to look at cholesterol numbers, we'll see what goes on here. When cholesterol numbers are under 150 milligrams a deciliter, any risk of artery damage will heal quickly and any scars will shrink. What that is saying is when your arteries start to plaque as a result of having elevated cholesterol levels, when you get those numbers down and get it down to around this number here, the body can start to heal itself because what happens when the plaque attaches to the artery, it causes them to stiffen. And when they stiffen, they are thus injured at that point. But when the number starts to come down, they start to heal. What we have here is a diseased artery. And as you can see by my graphic here, there is a blood clot as a result of the plaque that we have here in the artery. So this is what it means, uh, just to show you, when those numbers are elevated, I thought I would give you a graphic so you, you could picture this much better. When the LDL, when cholesterol levels move past 180 milligrams a deciliter, LDL cholesterol begins to attach itself to the artery wall. When that starts to happen, there are some problems that will result. Types of cholesterol, what happens next? Well, friends, I want to share with you that what you're looking at here is not grilled chicken. This is not bar.